Yo, what up, what up, fam? My name is William, a.k.a. Wilson. Welcome to the channel where I talk about all things food delivery. This motherfucker's gonna come right in front of me just to get started. Ain't nothing unusual that happens every day. But welcome, welcome, guys. You already know. I come out here and document the everyday life of a food carrier on my GoPro Max with my Honda Ruckus looking legit did the tune up on her already filled up the air coolant make sure you had t had a um, correct amount of pressure tire pressure she's solid baby she's gonna go another 60,000 no how many miles does it have right now probably has like 30 30,000 maybe more or less but I'm getting the day started with a quick delivery here for uh 11 doll hairs up at Sonora town so let me go grab this excuse me Oh, it smells good in here. Let's see, we got one for Adrian. Any drinks? Oh, 18 items, god damn. A bunch of beans, vegetarian whole pinto beans. Hi, right, I'll pick up for Adrian. 50. Yeah, a bunch of beans, huh? <laughs> no drinks? No drinks. Alright. Alright. That's good. Well, this one, yeah, probably, because I think with the weight, my customer might rip on my customer. Right. Yeah, I got you. I'll do it right now. All right. And you're doing the second one? All right. No, this one's fine. Yeah, let me just go. Oh, I got it. It's too bad. Okay. Oh, it's kind of far. All the hot items are here. All the cold items are in this one. All right, cool. I got another one, but I don't know if I should do it. It's kind of far. All right. I'm already full with stuff anyway, so let me just cancel the other one. Oh. All right, I got a, I got another one for seven bucks, but it's going kind of far, and I'm already gonna be kind of full, so I'm just gonna cancel it right now. And then uh, I'll just do this one. Let's put this one in here first. That's all the space. All right, let's carry this one right here. All right, let's go. Which one is this one? This was the Aereo. Let's cancel the other one. Item not listed. Is it already getting started? With a pretty big order. This is gonna be, let's hope it it, it's more more money yesterday i got hit with a bunch of stacked orders i'll tell you guys more about that in a bit made a good amount of money almost made 300 bucks but yeah guys thanks for joining there's a few a few days left left in april everything's going pretty good so far yeah let's get it baby building i used to come in here all the time when i was a bike messenger I hope they don't make a big deal that I parked right here. Oh, and I just dropped my phone. I'll just hold it. I think I got a message. Oh, no, I did it. All right, let me just go in here, guys. Everything is nice. Not I remember. I've been kicked out of here. When I was a bike messenger, they were giving me a hard time to, like, go up the suite to go do a delivery. And I will come here. Not often, but I will come here. And I just decided to go to the elevator on my own. And the security guard followed me. And then we just kind of had a little back and forth. And I, you know, it was kind of like a middle finger and I'm out. I just told my uh, my boss at the time, I'm like, yep. Got into it with the guards. <laughs> I don't remember what else happened. But let me back my ass up. I guess I can just wait here. Uh, let me get out of this sidewalk, actually. All right. But yeah, let me tell you guys a little about yesterday, man. Uh, so I made about 270 bucks. Most, uh, about 180 something on Uber and the rest on DoorDash. So mostly on Uber. And it was all through those stacks. One of those stacks that I did was uh 
that long one that was like 13 miles it was five pickups and uh, I still remember all the pickups and all the drift destinations uh, but I, what the last last one was a big order it was it was the two big bags they had like I, like like 33 items 34 items something like that it didn't occur to me i mean i was already getting paid 36 bucks for the whole for all three deliveries plus i had two more with doordash but i guess later on an hour later the rest of the tip came in so i ended up getting 35 dollars tip for that particular order so all together it was like it was in the uh, how much was it it was like 60 something dollars plus the other two DoorDash deliveries it was like 22 bucks so in total it was um how much was it it was like a record like i never made that much in the stack before it was like 84 bucks i believe for all five deliveries and it took me about an hour and 18 minutes to do everything so that's like the most i've ever made in the stack so far i've gotten up there i've gotten up to the 60 70s i never i never hit 80 so that gave me a big boost and I did a, a few stacks before that, and then uh, I went out of my car. I already had like 200 bucks plus, and I just went out of my car, did a few deliveries. Got up to 280, 270, 270. But yeah, those stack orders, I, now I was waiting on them a lot, and I actually canceled one of them, which is a big order too. I don't know how much that one was gonna pay, but I don't think I was gonna get it anytime soon, so I just, I was already waiting there a lot while I'm at Ocino Farms. Anyway, the stacks were great yesterday and uh yeah it feels good when you're on the rush when you're when you're basically hustling and you know you're getting paid that's the best feeling you feel a little pressure but it's good pressure because you're like your mind's racing you're like trying to make sure you don't miss anything you got to remember where everything's going how much time you have have you confirmed the orders which one are you doing first or last then communication with customers then making sure everything is good like there was one point where i had to leave the bags here on my platform to go do a delivery upstairs i covered it with my pizza bag and i also parked somewhere where there's much there isn't much traffic so it wasn't tampered with fortunately i had did have a spill but i didn't get a negative rating nor did i get a reduced tip so not a complete spill but some of it came out it was a big bull so overall, everything was chaotic, but very good money, very good day. I'm gonna repeat that today, baby. I started around the same time as well, but I already had some stacks, so I'm already behind. <laughs> By this time, I already was making good money. So far, I only got 11 bucks, but it's too early to tell, baby, so let's go get this money. I have another repeat of yesterday. I got a $16 delivery going to uh, the hospitals over there in Boyle Heights. But it's at Mendocino Farms. Now it's, it's 11.43 so their lunch rush is just beginning. It's probably already packed though. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'll film the, I'll film the chaos this time. That way you guys kind of get what I was going through yesterday. But. I got my hopes up. Let's see if these guys actually have this order ready. It's, let's see how many items. Nine items. It's not too complicated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all, all of them are salads. Ooh, it's gonna be a tough one because yesterday I had two of them. One of them was 10 items and the other was 11 items. And I had to cancel one because they were just taking too long. We'll see. I, I want to show you guys how crazy that place gets. Mendocino Farms here in DTLA. They got good food, man. Real healthy stuff. It looks healthy at least. Better than fucking fast food. I need to find me a lens cleaner. She gets dirty. And I try to clean it with dirtier shit. She makes no sense. I'm going to park. I'm going to park on private property so I don't get a ticket because I'm most likely going to be waiting. So here's a good spot to park. I gave myself a little more space. All right, let's go see. It doesn't feel so chaotic right now. All right, it doesn't look so bad. I think everyone goes to lunch at 12 and it's, it's 11.45 right now. So I might've just gotten here right before the chaos. Uh, yeah. 
but now is it now it's just more of a question is of if it's gonna be ready by now. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. This was nothing compared to how it was yesterday. So I think the times of them getting swamped is going to be noon and forward. So right now it's 11.48. So yeah, that's about the time everybody around here goes to work. 9 to 5, you know, or probably by 8. They start at 8 in the morning, work for hours, then take their break. But I got another one added on for about $7. Shake Shack, which is around the block. Pick that up, it's going the same direction. So what is that? 16 plus 11, that's 27. Plus, let's just uh, round it off, seven. 34. 34, nice 34 to get started, baby. Let's go. Another one for 18 bucks, only three items. So it should be ready. It's at the same place, Mendoncino Farms. So, damn, I could get this $18 one. It's going the same way as well. Whoo, that's gonna be, how much is that, 34 plus, which was this? 34 plus, did I say 18? 34, let me add this up. My brain's kind of frying right here. 34 times 18, times 18, goddamn. Plus 18. All right, 52 bucks. Damn, just got started too, baby. Let's hope it's ready. Ooh, they're not. Hi. Got it. Pick up for Brian. Hey, you guys, yesterday you guys were swamped, or is that every day? Oh, they just came in? Yeah, I saw how you were stressed out. I was like, ah, oh, I felt. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I saw you yeah, were like, ah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I was waiting here for like a good 20, 30 minutes. Oh, I canceled one of them, and then the other one I was able to take. But, but yeah, you guys kicked ass though. You guys took care of it. Were you guys were you guys short staffed or it was just a uh, were you guys short staffed or or not really? And the system. Everyone just decided to order, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. We don't have it. We do have it. Alright, so she did say my order won't be ready for another five minutes. So I'm just gonna go to Shake Shack and pick up that other one and come back. Um but yeah, you saw you saw her her, her expression, she's like she was swamped. So yeah, everyone a bunch of people ordered and then the system just kinda slammed them all at the same time with all the orders. That's happened before at other restaurants um, where um, their DoorDash app doesn't work and they don't realize it. They just think they're not getting orders. Either they restart it or, it comes start, or they all just come in at the same time and now they're just backed up. Um, but yeah, let me go to Shake Shack. This guy right here with the red scooter, the motherfucker has three phones. He's holding three phones like... Like, god damn. <laughs> does he have three phone holders? He does! He has three quad locks on, the, on his, on his uh, scooter. He has one, two, and three. I'll show you guys on the, on the way back. Let me get off the sidewalk. Alright, let's go to Shake Shack. Quad locks. One, two, three. With, with the cable sticking out so he can charge off his phone. <laughs> Sick. He needs a wireless charger. But that means you'll have to have three phones that have wireless charging capabilities. I had to, I had to upgrade my phone because it didn't have wireless charging capabilities. But now I do not have to worry about the cable anymore, which is great. I want to get it for my car as well. Since I started doing my the more deliveries on it, I still I'm still doing the whole cable thing. I got all three deliveries. Let's see where these drops are gonna be. They're all really close to each other. This one's on. Mission Road by McDonald's. Oh, I know what building this is already. Let's see where these other two are going. So I already know which one I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna do the DoorDash one first. What is this, the PCX? What's up, man? I like your setup. Yeah, thank you. Where are you gonna, you should, uh, you're gonna upgrade to uh, wireless, the wireless chargers? I don't like wireless. No. You don't like it? No. Well, when it gets hot, it doesn't charge well. 
Yes, it's hard, but it's better for me. For the, I had two, two cables for three phones. Okay, and that's the, good. And the wireless is more um, slow for charge. Oh, it depends on the connection, because I've had that problem before. Do you have a... I, I had two extra for you. I'm mm. buy you for... Give me 150 for two. Oh, okay, I get you. It's a, I don't, I don't, I don't need it. I, 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 I just stay two in my phone. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good. One fifty for two. All right, With all right. The one, tell me. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, what's your name? Marcelo. William. Okay. Nice to meet you, man. I'll okay. see you around. You, Marcelo. <clears throat> he said the slow charging problem. I've had that problem before. Where you're. Where your thing doesn't charge well not enough bolts are going out to your phone so you get a slow charge and i remember i had that problem when i connected it to a an external battery um but once i and then also when i had the usb connection on the scooter one of them didn't really work well so finally i got this one it was a usb 3.0 USB charger that connects to the battery and I also changed the battery. I got a lithium battery and ever since then I've been able to charge my tracker and my phone without a problem So some I mean I, I, it makes sense that with some people deal with that They don't want to go back to wireless charging and I did almost give up on it. I did remember but I understand his issue though And uh, it works for him so he has two cables three phones so i guess he just switches between phones when one the other one's dying works for him all right so i'm gonna go down cesar chavez and then go to mission do my first drop then the other two and i'm gonna be at 52 bucks baby now i got the uber Eats orders to go i could go straight down this way Ooh, stacking money baby Warmer weather's warming up. Hey, I'm ready for San Francisco. Who's out there? So um, about San Francisco. So there's a lot of obstacles that have kind of kept me from going. Um, because I don't want to run into these problems over there. Like one, people breaking into my car. So the, the truth is that there really is nowhere I can park in San Francisco where it's 100 percent safe. Well, there's nowhere I can really park where it's 100% safe, but to decrease the chances of my car getting broken into, I have to leave San Francisco. So, the best thing to do is go south. So, I figured out that thing. I'm just going to go out to uh, drive up, drive, drive north to San Francisco and stay in one of those neighborhoods down south, which is, has a, a ridiculously difference in crime rate. And, um... And I've talked to certain people that uh, live in the area that can almost guarantee that my car will be fine, just park. Or stay at a hotel in that same area, which is cheaper than San Francisco, and my car will be safe. So that way I got peace of mind during the day. I mean, think about it. I'll probably be doing 12 hour, you know, 12 hour missions, leaving really early, coming back late basically going back to the car or to the hotel to sleep shower recharge my stuff that was one issue then the other one is i gotta buy i, got, I want to get a catalytic converter protector like a shield i just installed one on the prius i was like yeah i need one on my element because that is an expensive inconvenience and such a lot of time you'll lose uh, cause some people rather not drive their car when their cats get stolen because it's really loud. I probably won't give a shit. I'll still drive that sucker. It sounds like uh, you put it up with the loudest exhaust on your car. It just sounds really loud. Our Prius is hilarious because the Prius are tend to be super stealthy and quiet. And then when their cat's missing, they're just loud. Like, like a Honda Civic with a uh, with some super loud muffler on it it's just funny it's not even going fast and it's just super loud like it's going 80 miles per hour so i gotta do that right that's a, i mean it's not a hundred percent 
it's more of a danger of getting broken into that's more common in San Francisco then there's a uh, what other issue oh yeah then there's a also like where to stay at right because if I stay in my car the issue is going to be how do I charge on my stuff I'm going to be using two GoPros because I'm going to be getting some 360 footage out there I'm going to need a computer to upload my stuff I'm going to need a hotel god damn it because <laughs> I actually have a power inverter in my car and I can connect things to it but my car I have to have on which is gas all right it's basically like a generator using the alternator the car's alternator but you have to have a car on because my battery will drain for sure it's not a big battery that these hondas have all these little obstacles but they're all kind of falling into place and then the other one was the weather right i don't want to go out there and it's raining then i can't work i don't wouldn't want to work when it rain so now that it's kind of getting close to summertime it's going to be a little warmer not too warm San Francisco tends to be a little bit cooler but it's getting closer baby San Francisco is going to become a reality maybe in a month hopefully less I mean if y'all live out there man we can link up Summer did not expect me to pull up on a scooter <laughs> I just saw her on her phone looking around uh, and then I said her name and she kind of got spooked but she did not expect that that happens sometimes they'll be delivering you pull up on your bike your e-bike or whatever i mean you gotta remember if these people have ordered food before the majority of the time they're gonna get a car that drops them off it's just that's just the majority of how people do deliveries every once in a while they'll get a bike scooter motorcycle I'm saying somebody might have got an uber walker just pulling up walking you just see them down the street with your food in their hand but it's like the least, ex the, the usually people don't expect it. And especially if they're not paying attention to the app, because the app Uber will tell you what kind of vehicle. Like my team tells you Honda Ruckus, but it doesn't tell you it's a motorcycle. I'm just a vehicle. That's the way it's listed on DoorDash. Well, the only thing that changes is a little icon. Instead of it being a car, it's a little bike. People don't notice shit like that. You know, it's a of a detail. But yeah, they're like, what? on the bike i remember when i come up on the bike we would just be shocked because it's like how the fuck you ride all that shit i would never i know you would never most people don't ride bikes ever see i wouldn't even ride a block that's kind of i feel right now but yeah <laughs> she was spooked I had to get the pin number too but all right that was the big one she's all like i tipped you in the app yes hopefully it's a bigger tip than uh than what it's uh, listed on on the what I accepted it for. That's always a bonus. Not expected, but nice when that happens. All right, let's go. This shit has ten items. Oh no, the next pickup has. It. All right, I picked this one up for ten. Another one for eight. eight so eighteen bucks. Putting me at seventy doll hairs. And then this next this, this next is gonna be one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine nine t's nine or ten ten thinking of ten t's right now baby cool excuse me yeah, i got it i got it i got the cup holders baby give me give me six more i got it <laughs> put them in boxes now I guess they're all in there. I want to see. This should fit in here, no problem. Actually, let me put this in here first. So I just dropped off this sandwich delivery, but uh, I'm gonna go offline for a bit because uh, my, my buddy just posted on the Crank Hustle group and he texted me that his bike got stolen just right, like not too long ago. We finished the report 
and I guess he saw his bike again with a different person riding it on 7th Street going uh, towards K-Town. So I'm going to pause the Alps right now and I'm going to start going in that direction and try to see if I can spot it. It's a... Uh, what kind of bike is it's very distinguished i'll be able to recognize this bike right away and since it's a heavy bike i know they're not going to be riding around fast unless i have to ask him i don't know if he left his key in it but if he didn't and someone just kind of rode off with it it'll be perfect because that thing is slow without power so uh i'll call him back right now and ask him well yeah the hunt is on baby let's get let's get this bike back so i just saw my boy jojo I saw him walking, I actually ran into him. He's walking down 7th. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover all the streets on the way this way and uh, see if I see anything. But he's gonna cover 7th. I mean, the thing is, most likely you got, they're gonna go to these, they're gonna have an encampment somewhere for sure. I mean, that's what I would bet on. So if he went up north on 7th, I mean, out west, I gotta basically check out all these encampments in the area. Like, I know there's a few here. And then you'll know, it's, it might be it because they're gonna for sure have scraps of other bikes. Like, there's one right there. There's a big one right there. There's one right here. See how it has all these scraps? So, usually if I see any type of bike parts, I'll suspect that they uh, are already doing this. Probably stealing shit. So let me check that one up, up on that street actually. There's one next block on, uh, what street is that, 8th street? Let's go check those right now. Man, there's so many encampments. We should, have, we should build a map of where all these encampments are. <laughs> all right, let's, let's go. I'm gonna go to these encampments here on 8th street. Damn, there's one, there's a few. What I'm looking for is bike scraps. Nothing right here, but they did have some bikes, bike scraps there. Oh, and the guy was a guy in a black shirt with a, a short sleeve black shirt. I gotta look for that too. There's some more encampments over there. God damn! Look at all these encampments. There's bike parts right here. Scrapyard right here. Straight up. So I'm just looking for uh see the bike sticking out anywhere. Going through the alley, like a peek through the other side. Jesus, there's like so many of these everywhere. Can't see anything. Now they look too calm. I think they would have been looking out. All right, uh, let's go somewhere else. Another. bunch of bike scraps though that's what they have they have chop shops here every encampment it's a good hustle they you know they, they uh, discover that they can do they were working on the bike there but see like over there in that encampment on the right scraps fucking everywhere son oh that's a big ass scrap yard <laughs> well, maybe onto something here. Yeah. Let me turn around. Let me turn around. There's a big ass scrap yard here. Jesus Christ. It's like 
three chop shots I already seen. Could have been any of these motherfuckers. Very lucky if I can catch it outside. These are all chop chops, man. All these guys steal bikes. Just come back here and start building them, switching parts, making it look different. It's like a whole uh, a whole barter system they got going on. Get their fix. on my shit in case this shit happens I got three chances three GPS trackers that can potentially help me get my my ruckus back or bike or whatever it is that I'm riding. I have to have at least one I remember when I my tracker wasn't working I didn't even go out my main one I didn't even want to go out. I'm like, I need to have at least this thing working. Because that was the one that's 4G operated. It's got its own battery. And, uh, yeah, I can uh, track it anywhere it is. It lets me know when it gets moved. It tells me minute by minute where, where it's been, where it's going, all that good stuff. Check out the lower grand. I came to check here to see if there's any encampments, but they actually closed it off pretty well, so no one's really allowed to. No one has any space to hang out here. That's a good thing, but uh, still no luck. It was harder than I thought. I guess there's a very slim chance, huh? Went it into this person. Uh, it's been like 30. No, it's been almost an hour. Uh, Jojo told me he last saw him and that's more than enough time for this person to get really far away or already to be stationed somewhere first thing these guys are going to want to do is get out of sight so I'm probably gonna I'm already low on fuel little things marking I'm gonna check a few more areas this way um, by Echo Park or south of Echo Park kind of in Filipino town uh, and then I, I'm going to take a break it's already 2.14 and then after that I'm going to talk to Jojo see what's going on see if he's going to go out in his car and start looking after that it's just going to be it's a very very unique bike so they, it's, they, they're not going to be doing much to it Jojo's bringing it down to me so we'll see what we do but it sucks it sucks getting your bike stolen man Especially your e-bike, your money maker. Crazy ass chop chop right here. It's kind of ridiculous how many of these are, are, are around here. back on the grind I had no luck finding the stolen e-bike 
that uh, stand out the alerts on my social media and Crank Costa group. Also, my boy Jojo is going to be looking for it in his car. All we can do is hopefully these guys are dumb enough to continue riding around and running into him. Now, what would I do if I do run into him? I wouldn't approach them. I'll just I'll get close enough or I'll pass by where I can confirm it's the right bike. Then I'll just either keep my distance, casually do a U-turn and kind of, you know, follow from a distance. I know you guys played those games in GTA where we get too close, you get spotted, and if you go too far, you lose them. So I'll be that middle ground. I'll probably send JoJo my, my Facebook live location. And uh, so he can call the cops and let them know where I'm at. Which, wherever I'm at, will lead them to the bike. So that way I don't have to be on the phone with JoJo. JoJo can be on the phone with the cops. I can just, he could just follow my, my location. And I'll do so until the cops pull up. Just flag them down like, yep, this is my boy's bike right here. I think that would be my quick game plan. I don't know how else I'll do it, but yeah. But uh, there has been someone in, in the group, Grand Custom Group, that has gotten this Hyper Scrambler 2 stolen. The Hyper Scrambler 2 with the dual batteries. And uh, he actually got it back later. No, he didn't get it back. He ran into the person with his bike. And... Uh, He went up to him, and the guy was like just some crackhead, and my boy offered him a hundred bucks to get his bike back, and he did. He just like, all right, I'll take it. Crazy, man. This guy was lucky he got his bike back. I would have offered him a hundred bucks too. If I was like, didn't have any other option, I would have did the same thing. But if there was a police report about my bike, if I would have filed one, for what I call the cops, been like, yeah, I just saw my bike, my stolen bike. I can confirm it's mine, it's in sight, blah, blah, blah. I'm here, I'm going there, this person is wearing this, description, all that. Just stay close to the person until the cops come through. I wouldn't approach him without the cops being there, because, yeah, that's how people get stabbed. Nobody got time to be stabbed. I'm cool. Wait, that's the part of what I'll do. Alright, so I got two, two pickups for no Uber Eats. Uh, I gotta drop them off in the USC area. Putting me at a. How much was it? I did the map earlier. 112. got done with these two deliveries how to go up a flight of stairs as you can tell by my breathing check out all these little kids bikes just locked up <laughs> so a bunch of them all right let's go to Popeye it's got an eight dollar pickup and that is going back to DTLA area one more pickup for wings for seven bucks. Why not? Let's do it. I almost forgot the drink on the other one. The guy called me in last minute, last second. Went back in there to grab some strawberry lemonade. That's for the Popeyes. So 127 is where I'm at. Now I'm gonna go back to. DTLA and I keep looking out for my boy's bike I'm gonna be in that little area where we think they might have gone with it just entered the Grand LA, LA building first time in this baby since they built it it's nice 
know if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. It's this big building right here. Damn, son. Woo! Right next to the Disney, uh, the Disney theater. Gorgeous building, man. I didn't get to see no window view, though. Went up to, like, the 20-something floor. All right, gotta go to Bunker Hill. That building right there, straight ahead. Behind that one. Behind the, the, the Walt Disney. Uh, gotta drop off there. In a rush, baby. I already got three stacked with Uber Eats. And they're going west. Wow, 66, what's that? 170, 175. So I got 175 with these three that I'm gonna drop. Almost about to hit 200, baby. 25 bucks away. Dang, I got another stack for 12.50. No, that's not. It's not a good deal. So I got room to stack like two more. I gotta have a general idea of which way I'm going. So let's go pick up a little Tokyo. I got three. One at Vuive. Where the hell is that? Google it right now, so I don't have to be looking. So I'm not looking for it. Do you eat that? Oh, can't remember. I know where the other one plays. I know where the other place is. This is a ramen spot. All right, let's look at a buoy event. So yeah, if you can if you don't know where it's at, Google it. Look at the pictures. Ah, it's where Forever used to be. They just changed the name of it. All right, I'm exactly where that's at quick little reminder eventually I'll remember and not have to look it up all right so I got the two. Oh, this is the soup gotta be careful that one's gonna tip over well, let's go to the soup spot Ooh, 14 for this I'm just gonna walk over there. 14 bucks. Ah. I can't remember where one of them was going. Should I do it? Should I do it? 14 bucks? Alright, let's do it. Oh, I gotta go back. That's cool though. 14 bucks? Where was I at? 66, 75, 75 plus 14. 75 plus 14. I forgot. 75. 89. Oh shit, one more. More squish. For 11 bucks. Alright, let's do it. Six orders. This should be fun. How much is that? 12 plus, what was that? 80, 89. That's 200, 201. All right, let's do it. It's gonna be a tough one. That I have three of them out of six. The other two, um, one's at Worskush, which is about three to four blocks from here. And uh, the noodle spot is like on this block on the on this side of this building the only one that's kind of far is the Sarita's Pupuseria that's the one that if it's too out of my route I'm just gonna cancel it but it's not too bad let's go and start let's go ahead and pick up the next one so I'm already out of space I got some food right here on uh, my platform and I'm going to worst goose right now this is a lot of soups so I got to be careful because <laughs> it's a pretty long journey and when it's far the chances of something cracking open and spilling are a lot higher this one should be very easy to to handle it's just two hot dogs worst is right here Oh, shit, 
here. Alright, so I got room for the four here. These are four. This is number five. And then the Puperisa, Puperseria place is on 3rd and Broadway, which actually that's at the grasses to market. Can I grab that? I'm gonna have to start the deliveries and see where they're all going. I think I could do it though. Oh, it's gonna be tough. Are lined up it's so nice so i'm gonna pick up the last one here at uh third and broadway but it's on my way to do my first drop off which is on wilshire and pixel it's the new apartment buildings then i'm gonna go south towards the second new greets delivery which looks like it's on grand and hope and 12th street my one of my door dash deliveries is on 8th and hope so that's also on the way so that'll be one, two, three, three of them knocked out. And then the other three are south of Koreatown. And the last one is past western, west of Koreatown. So they're all lined up. Let me just go grab this one from, uh, this is from Grand Central Market. It's at the, at this, like the Busa spot. This is Olives, which is right here. So I just gotta squeeze in my little spot here where I usually park. Oh, I'm not gonna leave my food here. I'm gonna take it with me because there's a lot of people here. Motherfuckers will snag it. I'm actually early. I'm at like nine minutes early to the spot. I think it's here. Hey, what's up, man? Got a pickup for Joel? Alright, All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Damn. Ready? Let's go! We're in business, baby. Start making these drops. On top. Fits. Alright, let's go. And... No, not this one. There you go. There it is. It's this one. And again, I'm going to take this with me because I do not want to leave it here. Five more to go. Alright, so now I'm going to get it to... This one's going to 8th and Hope. And this one's going to 10th and Grand. 11th and Grand. So let's do this, this DoorDash one next. I'm going to leave the food in the front. He was a little confused. I'm like, I just don't want to leave it on my platform and steal it. Ethan Grant. Ooh. Man, inside that building. So I just took a picture of the food. And as soon as I got out the building, I uploaded it. And did the, the delivery. So now let's do this final one here in downtown LA. For uh, Halvin. After this delivery, I should have enough space to put in this delivery that I have in the ice platform in the backpack. One for Calvin. This one gives me enough room for this one. Perfect. Let's go. After this, I got three left. Now I gotta make sure the soup. So there's a little leak in there, but it's pretty normal. Put this here so it doesn't tip over. All right, two more to go. Uber Eats ones are done. Wait, are they? Let's cut through this shit. Right, I got time to be waiting, baby. Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah. That's delivery. I already finished all the Uber Eats ones. This one I got about three minutes before I'm considered late, and I'm like, a block away it's just this light <laughs> i think i'll be fine i'm literally one minute away but come on come on come on two more after this
they asked me to close the door behind me i guess they mean that metal door but they didn't leave a tip so fuck them we'll leave it like that baby next time tip if you want me to do specific things after the contract is over so this one i have man i have like 20 minutes to deliver this one and i'm only six minutes away how the hell did i drop out six deliveries and still have like 15 minutes left of wiggle room yo boy professional son gotta keep getting better pretty smooth six order stack that I just did and the craziest part about it was that it wasn't like a, a path it kind of a, did like a zigzag I went far and I went back and I went back out but in both halves the deliveries lined up that way Skills, baby. How can I? Right now, I'm trying to learn how I can I teach all that shit <laughs> with my online course. It's gonna be a lengthy process, but I already got started. But uh, I think I made about 200 bucks so far. I'll, I'm gonna double check. Hey, that's a good delivery. Should I do it? Now I'm gonna go pick up my car. It's getting cold already, so I'm gonna go pick up my car and go back out. So I'll probably wrap up the video right here. See, so yeah, I got 130 on DoorDash, I mean, Uber Eats, so far without the tips from the previous order. And then on this last one, shit. 17, 18 plus. 18 plus 38 plus 130 so 186 so yeah with all those tips that I should be getting should be about 200 guesstimate but we'll see I might just get some along the way because you can see there's so much traffic right now it's still somewhat rush hour about to be 7 o'clock